Welcome to PM Movie Recaps. Today's pick is an action and thriller of 2022, The 355. If you're ready, let's enjoy the video. Somewhere in south of Colombia, crime boss Elijah Clark meets with a local drug lord, Santiago and his son Geronimo who presents him with a superweapon that is capable of accessing networks and computer systems all around the world. They demonstrate it by controlling a plane flying overhead. Impressed with the weapon, Clark and his goons kill Santiago and Geronimo in an attempt to take it for himself, but police soon raid the area, forcing Clark to flee. Government agent Luis Rojas finds the drive containing the weapon, and he takes it. Back at the CIA headquarters in Langley, the higher-ups learn about Luis taking the drive and that he is willing to sell it in order for him and his family to get away to safety. Director Larry Marks approaches Agent Mace and her partner Nick Fowler about recovering the drive. The two plan a cover story in which they are a couple on their honeymoon, but there is a legitimate attraction between the two agents. Mace and Nick travel to Paris and go to a cafe where Luis is waiting to make a drop. Their bag is intercepted by another agent, Marie Schmidt who is posing as the cafe server. Mace chases after Marie while Nick runs after Luis. Mace follows Marie all the way down into the subway where Marie manages to hop on a train and get away, but she is dismayed to find that the package she got was the money that Mace and Nick were going to give Luis. Meanwhile, Nick chases Luis through the streets, but he loses Luis and ends up in an alley where he is confronted by Clark and one of his goons, who ask Nick if he has the drive. He tells them no. Luis goes to his room where he is met by a psychologist, Graciela Rivera. She tries to ask him where he is keeping the drive, as she knows he can trust her. At the same time, Marie meets with her boss, Jonas Muller as they gather their information on Mace and Nick. Despite Jonas trying to keep Marie where she currently is, she persuades him to let her go after the drive. Mace returns to Langley, where Marx tells her that Nick was shot dead, leaving her distraught. Marx tells Mace to go and find the drive herself. She travels to London to reunite with an old friend, cyber intelligence expert Khadija. After sitting through a presentation of hers, Mace tries to get Khadija to join her on the mission, but she says she is done with the work they used to do. She is living happily in London with her partner Abdul. After Mace explains the severity of the mission and why the drive falling into the wrong hands could lead to war, Khadija helps Mace gather intel on Marie and Luis to track the latter. Mace and Khadija track Luis and Graciela to a factory, where Marie is also looking for them. As they start closing in on Luis, one of his fellow agents turns on him and shoots him, while Mace fights Marie. Khadija goes after the shooter, who gets away on a boat after being pursued by Mace and Marie. Graciela stays by Luis's side as he dies, and he gives her a phone that can be unlocked with her fingerprint. Marie finds Graciela and brings her to a safe house, but they are found by Mace and Khadija. Mace and Marie have a standoff that is quelled by Khadija as they agree to put their differences aside to work together. Using Luis's phone and Graciela's fingerprint, Khadija tracks the shooter to Morocco. The ladies go to Marrakesh and track the villain in a market. After following him through a crowd and managing to get by unnoticed, they intercept the drive and get it to safety. Khadija decrypts what is on the drive, and they later arrange to hand it over to Marx. Afterward, the ladies go out for drinks, where they bond and learn that Marie's father was a double agent for Russia and that she had to turn him in. Back at CIA headquarters, a woman enters and attacks Marx before shooting him dead. The ladies later watch news reports of multiple plane crashes and power grids being shut down in two cities. They realize that the drive has indeed fallen into the wrong hands. They return to HQ to find Marks dead before other CIA agents, led by Grady come to get them. The ladies get the advantage and disarm the agents before making their getaway. They locate the shooter and take him captive to pry information out of him. Marie shoots him in the leg where he could bleed to death unless he tells them what they want to hear. The shooter relents and tells them about an auction happening in Shanghai. They put a tourniquet on him so he won't die. The team heads to Shanghai to go to the auction in disguise. One thug tries flirting with Graciela, who is gaining her first experience in the field. Mace is also surprised when she discovers that Nick is alive. However, she soon learns that he is working with Clark and is there for the drive himself. Mace fights one of his goons while Nick sits in for the auction. He later finds that the woman who killed Marx is with her father as they hold the drive. He takes the drive after buying it just as police arrive when Marie creates an explosion. The woman then calls the officers off and brings the ladies to meet with her. The woman introduces herself as Lin Mi Sheng, an agent with China who has also been tracking the drive. She informs the ladies that Marx was in on the scheme with Clark. Lin and her father have gathered intel on several criminals who were at the auction, including the one who was flirting with Graciela. Lin also reveals that she has the real drive. 
when Clark finds that Nick doesn't have the drive, he has his men beat Nick up. Nick and his goons later track the ladies to their safe house. They show them separate screens showing that his men have also located Abdul, Jonas, and Graciela's husband and children, and they are all being held at gunpoint. Nick shows he is not messing around by having his men kill Lynn's father, Jonas, and then Abdul, but the ladies relent and give him the drive before they can kill Graciela's family. Nick and his guys take the drive, as well as Lynn so she can operate the drive. After the ladies grieve their losses, they resolve to go after Nick when they find that Lynn's glasses have a camera that allows them to see where she is going. Nick brings Lynn to his hotel and forces her to decrypt the drive, while the rest of the team stages an assault. They engage in a shootout with Nick's goons, and Lynn manages to fight back as well. After killing most of them, Mace fights Nick, who shoots Marie in the shoulder and nearly kills Mace before Graciela shoots him. Authorities come to arrest the women, but Khadija destroys the drive first. Two months later, Nick tracks Clark down and shoots him dead. He weasels his way back into the CIA as the new director, with Grady helping him track down Mace and the others since they are reported as being on the run. Mace eventually finds Nick herself in his home and is joined by Khadija, Graciela, Marie, and Lynn. They slip Nick a poison in his drink and tell him they plan to turn him in to be placed in an international prison for his crimes. The ladies leave and part ways until they are called to work together again. Thank you for watching, but before leaving please make sure that you click subscribe and turn on the notification so that you can enjoy watching more videos like this.